Hi guys, today we're gonna learn about the Laravel. So we're gonna build a full stack Laravel application. First, let's uh, let's go to the Laravel website. Uh, Laravel is a simple uh, PSP open source framework. Um, we can build the robust uh, applications with this, and then um, also uh, have a big community to support. Now. Uh, Laravel is just released for 9 version and then PHP support is 8.2 um, you can read the pretty much documentations and now let's start creating the first project and we need some PHP um, server as well as the composer and uh, they suggest to have a node and npm so first for for the first uh, PHP server, we can use Zamp, Wamp. If you are in a Mac, I prefer Zamp. So I'm gonna download the Zamp for the Windows, and my machine is in uh, my machine is Windows. So I'm going to download for the Windows version, um, <coughs> and the second application we need is the composer. So uh, let's download that composer as well while uh, we are downloading the jamp so to download the composer uh, let's go to the composer and composer website to download for the um, composer for the windows and then I go to the download tab Composer is simply managing the packages over the uh, on the top of the Laravel. So we gonna um, if we uh, need to install some package, then we we will uh, use the composer. And then Node version, uh, Node version is um, uh, just for design purpose. So we're gonna build um, uh, with uh, not 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 using front end completely on Node.js, but they have come up with uh, utilizing the node version now uh, let's uh, install the jamp for the first on a step one um, it might not take time and then it will it is similar as installing other application next next and install I'm gonna fast forward this yep and it is finished so it's gonna open up our jump which is on our tax bar so we can open it or we can start that one as well as a server so we may require later and let's check this PHP version now see uh, we have a PSV version 8.2 that is the required for the Laravel 9 so let's start Apache and MySQL which may we which we require later it might ask you the administrator permission so give it the uh, administrator permission now it is started yep let's install the composer as well and then um, yep next next and it's simply it will take the jump PSP um, uh, PHP INI so um, yeah we don't need to worry about it but it is actually using that PSP version uh, next uh, we'll check the composer version as well so let's finish this one let's go to the command prompt control R uh, and then check the composer version okay so let's check the composer version which is 2.5.1 and then install the node which we require later but let's install it now let's finish it and then check the node version with the command prompt node sv that's it and then npm sv yep now we are good to go for our our requirement is um, our configuration 
is set up we can use this command from the uh, from the documentation but I'm gonna use um, uh, the dist command which is the old one it's um, I wanna create project on desktop so I created desktop and then I pasted the dist command here and the project name is API you can give whatever you want yep it is finished now let's run the project at first we need to go to inside the API because that's where our project is reside on now let's enter the command php artisan serve which will run 127 that um, uh, 8000 port so let's check our project if it's running boom it is running and it has a Laravel 9 with PHP 8.2 now um, we can use um, Laravel with admin LT which is the easiest package I think uh, so far I got so as an admin dashboard uh, we are gonna use admin LTE you can read the documentation as well as they provides the they integrate with the Laravel UI so let's go to the installation guide what they said is we can use composer require and then the package that provides the admin LTE let's stop the server and then um, copy paste that that command let me copy again um, be sure you are inside the API project it is installed now the second step is to install actual library that on our inside our project now let's see again if there is any changes nope there is no changes now we gonna uh, we gonna install um, Laravel auth so uh, and then we gonna um, override that Laravel auth with the admin LTE so let's go to the let's go to the github documentation first we should install the Laravel UI package um, let's check if we have that one mm, we have admin LT package but we don't have uh, auth and UI package uh, we're gonna use um, bootstrap auth so first we need to install that auth package I'm gonna be using internal terminal for here uh, it is the best uh, uh, best uh, IDE for the developers I think let's paste that command after that after it completes we gonna um, install the auth package now it completed let's install the auth package as well okay first it requires npm install and npm run dev so we're gonna do npm install first and then npm run dev to build that front end build our uh, front end now let's uh, open up another tab which is on the like a window tab on the top on the terminal window and then let's run it now you can see after refresh the page uh, login and register and that's our login and uh, register page now we're gonna change that with the override with the admin LTE so let's stop the server again sorry <coughs> yes 
error see it built again um, now let's check it again let's go to the R server refresh the page and then see the login see there is admin LTE and there is an admin LTE login version and you can go to the register page you can see the same uh, this is my browser setting so we can it is forcing the uh, admin LTE for the darker version now you can see the la uh, light version as well let's see uh, after the login page first of all we need to create the um, database uh, let's make the database for this application um, I'm gonna use same name as uh, the application name let's let me stop the server first and then go to the okay let's go to the local host PSP my admin and then give it a name let's create the database new database as a name of API and then create there we go we created the database now our um, our Laravel automatically handle that process with the PSP artisan migrate which will generate the table for the users okay uh, let's run the application let's check again uh, let's check the table first if we have yep we got it now uh, let's register the user uh, my name is Krishna by the way and I'm entering my email personally uh, I'm entering my email um, then password then register it should redirect me to the home page let's see okay we are logged in but our design is not there so to to use the admin LTE we need to use their design page as well so let's go to their uh, github page and then go to the usage section and then a bit down there is a page structure so we're gonna copy this we're gonna replace our mm, resources views and then there is a home yep there is a default home page now we're gonna replace uh, this space with our that copied code yep now let's save it now let's again go to the browser and then refresh the page let's see if that works boom we are getting the admin LTE we have a logout features we have a, a expanded expandable icon on the top uh, we have a source icon we have a menu which will works as a fine now on the next step um, I'm going to show you how to um, change this design hope you like this content stay tuned for more or you can like and subscribe my youtube channel just to get the notification i'll see you on the next video thank you